Last year was a season to forget for Mark Gibson and the Demons. One positive is that the program can only go up. Jeff Roberts tells us how Bismarck High is looking forward to this new era. A winless 2022 snapped a 32-year playoff streak for the Bismarck Demons. We always talk about tradition around here, and the one thing that we kind of stress this year is, is starting something new. And this is a good group to do it with, and I think those guys uh, have to understand that we're not going to talk about past. It's all going to be about future and what we can do and to get better each week. They're not dwelling on last fall, but it helped them refocus in the offseason. These kids have worked hard to, to try to return that success, and it's something that you as a coach hope they, they get to see that and uh, that their hard work gets paid off and things like that. I think just all of us guys are just was last year was a learning experience, and now we're, we're bought in, we're all in and we're ready to go. A big part of this year is centering on a balanced offense and limiting explosiveness on defense. Going back and looking at what we've been failing at is two things we've, uh, you know, kind of put our staple on is running the football and playing to good defense. And, you know, we, we didn't do either one of those things last year. And so those things we need to improve on if, if we're gonna have any success at all. The running back room is filled with experience, complementing an offensive line that returns four of five starters. Seven members of the Demon defensive core are back. Each piece is a step forward towards a new era of BHS football. All the focus is around the offensive line first. Um, it's more, you know, run game complements pass game, pass game complements the run game. So both things help each other at the same time. So Everybody knew that the only thing we're going to do is throw the ball around. And, you know, obviously we proved that's not very successful. So, uh, you know, I think those are things that uh, going into this season, the change from last year, I feel that like we're way ahead. The first test of the fall is on Friday. BHS goes to Fargo Shanley. In Bismarck, for your news leader, I'm Jeff Roberts. Legacy is the WDA team with the most returning all region players. The Sabres soccer team opened the season last week with a three to nothing victory over North that was in Fargo. Tonight they're hosting Mandan to open the conference season. Less than five minutes in, it's a corner kick here for the Sabres and James Matthew Gunther sends it in the box and off the keeper and then off the head of Jaden Riddle as the uh, Legacy's team would score first. And a few minutes later, Reese Snow with a perfect through ball. Then the speedy Ben McDonald, he is there and he will run it and find the net as Legacy jumps up two to nothing in this contest. Then late in the half, Snow was, uh, has another corner kick opportunity. This one is a goal off his own foot. It goes in as Legacy takes it by the final of six to nothing. It was Bismarck out in Dickinson winning two to one and the first game at the bowl tonight, Century shuts out Williston two to one or two to nothing, I should say. It was uh, the Twins starting the day with a six game lead in the Central uh, playing against Milwaukee down two in the second. That's Christian Vasquez tying it up his fourth home run of the year. It's a two run shot and it's a two all game in the fourth. Kyle Farmer will break that tie. RBI singled to left. The Twins would get the runner to round and score and take a three to two lead. But in the sixth inning, the Brewers scored five times on four straight RBI hits. Here's a little bleeder from Tyrone Taylor as the Brewers win it by the final of seven 